Hello everyone, a new week, a new vlogging camera. I've got a doughty little mic for it and everything. I'll, I'll show you my setup later on in the vlog. Up for the day, we're doing a bit of gallivanting around Manhattan. As predicted, it's another dull and uh, dreary winter morning. I just got ready with the help, of course, of our sponsors. Really, it's been well over the 21 days when you're supposed to feel all of the benefits of using Brilly, like feeling more focused and more alert. You can safely say, we attest to that. You would have seen in the previous video, pretty massive difference. Like it was quite literally a night and day difference. I am not a morning person. So one of the first things I do when I wake up to go to the bathroom is flick the lights on right away. Slowly gets my mind more alert and more prepared for the day. Carl gives a thumbs up. We've both been feeling not sluggish in the afternoons. I would always get like eye strain and just feel really like sleepy. Also since the video, we got our Brilli vanity mirror up. Easily the nicest touch in the entire bathroom. I can't tell you how nice it is to get out of the shower and not be like scrubbing the fog off just to like see my face so I can put on my skincare or my makeup. My bathroom content game on Instagram is, is a lot better now. There you have it. That's my little update um, for our lighting situation. I will leave a link to Brilli and the bulbs that we use in the description below. Um, but if you want to see more, you can definitely check out that old vlog as well. Me and Jess just exchanged Christmas presents. <sighs> I can safely say she knows me well. She got me a little corgi heat pack and my favorite brand of candle. Um, I got her a really funny gift as well, but I love getting Jess presents. We always get each other something super cheesy. I got Jess this the ultimate hot water bottle. I love it so much. This is like going to be what I cuddle with. Cause even when my boyfriend sleeps in bed with me, like he likes his side, so I feel like this is gonna be like me my too. I had to do my hot water bottle last night because he didn't want to cuddle me. Yeah, but I was just like, you're too warm. Like, why are men always warmer? This is my substitute boyfriend, and then um, I had to do it. My substitute bird, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just for when you're missing your birds at home. Yeah. Did you show um, what I got you? Yes, I did. Basically, bought each other the same things: an animal gift and a, and a cozy gift. Yeah. So. We definitely great minds think alike as they say but it's always fun coming to visit my girl i, oh, I nearly broke so your glasses great. there it's okay it's so good look at my sideburns they're crazy uh, oh my god it is too much i have no makeup on today this is not oh makeup. come on guys tip if you're friends with the model try to make a bit of an effort because like this is just not cutting it for me i love this sweater by the way this is really cute oh, Where's pinks. It from? this is from every lane it's really cute. Yeah, huh? um, but you're moving soon, apparently. Yes, yes I'm moving in January. Um, so exciting. That'll be fun. Um, <laughs> thumbs up for Jess in the video. Because she wants a lot of jewel and hair. A lot of jewel? And hair. Oh, God. That's what I love. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you don't like nice clothes, it's great. <laughs> or a clean house. <laughs> I went boxing you guys and I feel fucking amazing. I don't know why I put that off for so long. It's just been mental. Back in Manhattan post boxing, I managed to keep my makeup somewhat intact. I just had a quick body shower dragged all of my prezzies in because I'm meeting the gals. We're going to Izakaya, um, a restaurant I've been wanting to go to for so long in the east side. So I'm just trying to locate Adele and Italia and we're all marving, like so hungry. And uh, yeah, the food looks very good. So I'm sure I'll insert a snippet, but we're gonna be too busy rambling for me to do any sort of vlogging. <laughs>
Okay, this is my first time using my new vlog camera outside and I have to say I'm really impressed with the color. Like, I feel like the skin tones look a lot better. Okay, I need to bring you guys in close because I'm gonna rain all over the new bloody $1,300 camera. I'd love to buy that piece. You'd love to buy that dump up there. Yeah, the a broken station. window is the most terrifying looking building. No, it, it does look nice. I can, I, can, I can see your cafe vision happening, Kaha. It's been a busy morning, my friends. I'm actually gonna maybe run and get some CBD right now because I've been out of CBD for about three weeks and I just haven't been in Williamsburg to buy any or if I have been, I haven't thought about getting it. But my God, <laughs> like freelancer anxiety is a real thing and CBD has helped. Um, my like stress and anxiety so much and like this week has been nuts but I felt like I was gonna pop off this morning I felt sick to my stomach and like I felt like I was holding all of that tension in my stomach um, but I feel better now because me and Kahal knocked out two shoots right before the rain came and he's been very supportive and helpful I've been a bit overwhelmed to say the least but I think it's just because it's Monday and literally every single hour of my week this week is scheduled to do something or be somewhere and that for some reason is just a huge source of anxiety for me but anyway we're doing well I hop into Manhattan to go meet my manager You wanna be in the vlog, Hannah? <laughs> Manager vibes. <laughs> it's a very New York. Meeting feels too formal for meeting with Hannah. Um, she already feels like a friend to me. She's so, so lovely. I've also never been in that blue stone lane at Barry before. Very chill, really like the uh, vibe in there. Okay, now I have to go buy some Christmas cards for all my loved ones in paper source. Oh, I'm a sucker for a corgi card forever and always. Yes, perfect. It's a little bit more running around in Soho to do. I love this shot. I think this is my favorite shot of New York on Broadway. Uh, I think I'm gonna try and find some Christmas presents before I go because I'm meeting people this week and I don't want to show up empty handed. I'm supposed to go straight home and edit, but I kind of want to squeeze in an exercise class. And so important for your mental health and the reason why I'm feeling so anxious is probably because I'm not exercising enough. Okay, now I'm really gonna be late because I'm showing you what I'm wearing. I rebought American Apparel's riding pants. Oh God, ignore the messy bed, it's early. Um, but yeah, they crossed my mind because I don't have a lot of loungewear. Loungewear is a slippery slope for me. I try not to buy things like black leggings and all of that because I'll end up living in it and not wearing any of my lovely clothes. I remembered how much of like a nice comfy flattering kind of snatched pants they were and uh, I found them in this rusty color second hand on Poshmark. A few thermal layers under here and then of course my uni glow jacket my overcoat that I've been living in from the men's section. favorite beauty treatments uh, lash lift you guys know I'm a big fan it's it's definitely like my favorite I wouldn't say pamper thing because it's not the most relaxing it's my favorite feel-good thing to do straight little Asian lashes are gonna get curled to shite um, yeah I could probably do with an extra week or two sort of just letting my eyelashes recover from the last round but they're doing okay I'm going home for the holidays and I just want to like wake up every day look bright and awake good look at the before and here we have a very unflattering up close after absolutely love them um she did say my eyelashes on this side i need to start using the keratin again this side have always been a little bit shorter and way drier i think it's from sleeping on them <laughs> I sure didn't I get myself my favorite pastry in New York, a chocolate almond croissant. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, my weakness is pastries. I would eat a pastry every day if I could. Actually, I don't know who I'm kidding. Since it's been winter and I'm all wrapped up, 
your girl is eating a pastry almost every day. Oh my god. Garment District throwback. Who remembers the New York fashion intern days? Comment below if you've been watching the vlogs since my very first year here. Running around for buttons and zips and fastenings and all sorts of things. You'd actually be shocked to see all of these buildings up here. They're gonna be full on factories on some of those floors. If any of you watch Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, like it's exactly like that. Nothing has changed about those families, like the one her family owns. Next stop, Bedside Brooklyn for a very special little order that I need to pick up. Oh my God. Thank you so much. <gasps> Homemade onion rings from our faves. I don't think I've showed you guys in here properly, but the interiors give me life. And this is what I picked up. I made a lovely new friend um, through some of the Etsy work I've been doing. Um, her Instagram is gorgeous, but she's also like the most beautiful florist. So I asked her to make me sort of a half dried, half fresh arrangement. Um, this is her little Instagram name here, but I'll pop it on the screen as well. But how beautiful. I think I'm actually gonna go and take a picture with it because it's, it's that pretty. Bouquet in the Alvar Alto. Other than that, I'm just a girl out here eating a croissant. This is the leftover. Somehow it still tastes good the next day. I, I wouldn't even classify it as a croissant, honestly, because you got the chocolate, you got the almond filling, you got the crispy top, chewy edges. Guys, if you're in New York, this is a texture marvel. I know the loft update two videos ago was very like interiors, new additions, heavy, but a couple of little additions that have really spruced up life in the loft. So we've had this sort of steel top island thing that came with the flat. We've been umming and awing about what to do with it, but uh, I think we might try and keep it because it's been a perfect place to house our coffee maker. We've never had a proper coffee maker and I was very lucky I got this through work. I still will probably go and buy coffees because I do like going out and kind of um, seeing like my local businesses and my you know my people um but i am definitely going to save a little bit of money having this here and rolling on to over here you saw the new mirror that we got from home union doshi and we've kind of been like you know styling around it since then so i was very lucky i got this over black friday cyber monday i got this coat rack which i felt like matched perfectly it's sort of like a mid-century style it's got these little sharp edges it's not like my number one choice for a coat rack but it was like the same color as the mirror fills up this space a little bit more so hopefully in the new year we'll get some pictures up and um find a way to hide this if anyone knows whether we can paint this or not because i know in some of my old flats they were painted but i think it's technically technically illegal to paint this white but yeah that's a new sort of um entryway update we also made a pretty pretty expensive tech splurge for the apartment but it's something we wanted for so long and again we picked it up um over you know black friday we've only had this thing for a couple of days and it has already low-key changed our lives in terms of entertainment cheeky s day vlog on we got a short throw projector not only projector but a nice little new sound system bow speaker that's been really really good and the projector is lg i think it's the hg 85 or the hl 85 but they kind of eliminate the need to put a projector at the back of the room or like have to mount it anywhere you can pretty much put it right next to the wall it actually has a really good sound system like by itself literally magic it's only sitting out this far from the wall and it takes up literally the entire thing i feel like it works like a dream it's perfect it's so nice that we don't have to deal with like a tv or a tv wires and it's something that we can bring anywhere we live it's just it's very easy to pack and serious entertainment upgrade considering we've been watching shows from our laptop for probably eight years last little upgrade is something i mentioned i think earlier in the video but i've been vlogging the whole week with my new camera um it's basically an upgrade of a camera i already had it's the sony rx100 I don't know, five or six. No clue anymore, I've lost count. Oh, it's the seven, oh shit. Um, I have one from about two years ago and it's really done me well. I'll show you my old one. These cameras are the probably the smallest high quality 
vlogging camera that you can get and I think the reason it lasted so long is because I didn't break it because this actually did fit into my pockets and my bags. Sound generally on Sony's is really bad um, but I've been able to kind of solve that issue now. I've got like a little baby, little baby plug-in mic that kind of swivels around depending on where I need it. So hopefully the sound has been a bit better in this vlog. I'm also hoping I don't run into any issues in the editing stage of this because I've really this is a whole new sort of setup I've been testing out for this vlog um, but I've been really happy with it I also think that the coloring is a lot better but let me know if you saw an improvement in the vlog and I will leave what I use in the description below I think this mic thing is so handy Iconic checkered floors. Can only mean I'm in Bloomingdale's. Your girl just got her hair done for the housewarming tonight. You might remember me getting these glamorous polished waves at the end of summer. Yannick did my hair at um, Ion Studios. I got it again. I asked him to do the exact same thing because I love it so much. God, the absolute stress of trying to keep my hair in good shape but by the time I get home it's pissing rain in Soho and it will be for the rest of the evening so I hope it's not too much of a hassle for everyone coming tonight um, but we're gonna stop really quick in Trader Joe's to get some get some bites for tonight because everywhere around us is a bit of a rip-off to be honest and who doesn't love a good Trader Joe's snack feast? The Trader Joe's in Soho by the CE train the best ever I mean look you can walk there's space the apartment is looking clean now I just got to set the mood a little bit other lands send me their like warm wintry collection right in time another collection I feel like was made for me this one's called moonstruck sacred dust and silk pajamas all sounding very cozy I also got this very cool bendy USB chargeable lighter it looks a little scary yeah, a little terrifying, but uh, very effective. Alrighty, we're all ready for the party, obviously. This is the fish on my hair from earlier. Steph is already here, um, but everyone should be arriving pretty soon. Well, it's the next day. We've got tired old heads on us, um, but we're gonna drag ourselves out for the Christmas festivities that are in it. We had a great time hosting our party last night. Uh, it went so well. The cleanup wasn't even that bad. And uh, everyone kind of went home at around two and it couldn't have went better. It was just such a like warm, intimate, perfect amount of people cozy night it was just a rainy friday night i feel like getting everyone together like that was just so lovely and everyone's always like kind of in the mood to get together at this time of year so very happy that we went ahead and did a friday the 13th like spooky bitch so on brand for me uh, housewarming and the best thing is even my hair stayed intact so um this hairstyle that Davines created at the salon yesterday will be on igtv like i'm going to be sharing some tips and obviously the products I'm gonna have to pick up because this held so well considering you know I had a pretty messy messy night last night I don't have a lot of time left in New York and I haven't really done anything Christmassy yet and it's kind of like now or never so we're gonna head into the city uh, before it gets completely I mean it'll probably be dark by the time we get into the city because it's always dark but my main aim was to at least leave in daylight time the weather the uh, Nanushka puffer is actually warm 
and this is my second winter in it and it genuinely is it's faux leather the insulation filling is cruelty free so yeah feel good purchase all around i definitely would say it was worth the money just size down like two sizes though because i am wearing a small and it's still still pretty oversized made it to manhattan for the last christmasy weekend that's in it see what we can jam in my friends see what we can jam in Today is Santa Con. some corgi footage to end the year. He's so cute. He loves me so much. Should they all go follow you on Instagram? Yeah, they should follow me too, right? Kind of like Huskies, they talk a lot, which is why I can't vlog with him too much. Um, I'm home in Ireland now, as you saw me travel back. I've been here for a couple of days. Been doing a lot of chilling since I've been back home in Ireland, spending time with friends and my family. Um, I definitely feel like it's been a well-deserved break off. It's been a really busy couple of months of what well, feels like almost non-stop um, big uploads, big edits, but I've enjoyed it so much. I feel like this year I really lived the dream and that is all down to your support. So I thank you very much for watching. If this year was the year you started watching my vlogs, I'd love to know what video kind of kept you around. Um, but yeah, it's been the perfect year. I got to work with amazing brands and um, stay financially motivated to make these videos which is important but also kind of stay true to myself and um, still give you guys videos that you seem to really enjoy. I don't think I got one complaint. Uh, that means a lot to me. That means I feel like I'm doing something right and I'm doing things on my own terms and I'm just so grateful that you've been so receptive. So thank you all. Happy Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy Holidays. 
Um, and I will see you all in the new year.